hello friends welcome back for a quick video tutorial of the best pushback add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator I'm pretty sure you guys already know that I like the ambitious pilots toolbar pushback and it recently received an update which is awesome for those of you who have flown in X-Plane will probably remember better pushback this add-on is probably going to be the better pushback equivalent of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we'll take a look at those and we'll just quickly see what it does and end the video. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use it and what functions it is bringing. We are currently in Adana, Turkey. We are already running on APU power and ready to call the tug and start our pushback and start our engines. Our departure runway for today's flight is runway 5 and our destination is Istanbul. Let's jump into the cockpit and we'll talk about what the new update brings to the table. Toolbar pushback is, as you may already know from my videos, added to the toolbar at the top if you place it into your community folder and I will place the link to the mod to the description field of this video. Go check it out and give it a like. That the developer is working hard to make this a great pushback add-on. So now you have an option to pre-plan the pushback. What this does is when you click it will open a map which is great and it will give you an aircraft symbol to pre-plan your pushback. Couple controls you need to note here holding control and scrolling your mouse wheel in and out will zoom in, in and out on the map and to rotate the aircraft you will scroll your mouse wheel to rotate left and right and position your aircraft to where you want to push back so for us it's going to be over here we'll push the tail to the left because runway 05 is all the way on the other end of the airfield so that's why I'm selecting this but if you wanna push back push the tail to the right you also do the same by rotating the aircraft craft the other way around and the other thing is if you mistakenly click and place an aircraft symbol like that backspace will clear that selection and this is most of the stuff that you need to know you place your aircraft click to that location and when you hit enter it will say cancel plant pushback which means your pre-plan was su successful let's go ahead and request pushback Now the tug is driving up. We are already configured for everything and ready to start our engines. Our fuel pumps are on. We'll turn the engine generators on. And we are ready to go. So he's gonna let us know. It takes a little bit time, you guys know. I like to use it so that it's a little bit more immersive because you speak to the ground crew. But it's gonna be a quick second before he lines up and uh, connects the tug as you see here there we go there the bypass pin is installed all doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed all right the parking brakes let's turn our beacon lift. light on he's parking gonna lift the aircraft equipment, arm doors and, cross -check. and this is the new addition to the experimental that's the uh, cockpit or flight push. crew uh, okay. voices Okay, we are going to go ahead and release our parking, parking brake. Released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. It will start in the sequence. And he will start pushing us back, and we will just start our right engine first. And you will see the aircraft pushing back to the location we previously set using that map, and it's gonna stop the pushback when we are in place. This is a great addition to what it was already, so I think this is the best pushback add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator and this will become more popular as the developer keeps adding more functions. We already started turning our tail and you see the aircraft turning to the left. And the cabin crew is going through the safety briefing. There we go. 
slowly but surely we are getting to our uh, taxiway just monitoring the engines at the same time right engine is almost stable we are heading for 19 percent M1 and that is the taxiway we just aligned ourselves when planning the pushback there we go right engine stable let's go ahead and continue with the right engine left engine he's gonna stop when we are in place and he's gonna ask us to set the parking brake you will hear it and in the meantime our left engine is spooling and we can also just quickly take a look from outside okay pushback completed please set parking brake Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Is lowering. And we are waiting for the left engine to stabilize. And he's gonna leave after successful engine start. Almost there. In the meantime, we can just set our aircraft for taxi, weather radar to on, predict the wind shear on, transponder, we should have entered the code already, but we'll just stick it in there right now. And then go to on, T-A-R-A, -A, and altitude reporting, we will turn on at the threshold. All right. Now, parking brake is set so I'm just looking to see what he is doing oh he's already gone magically disappeared so hopefully this will in the future improve and we will keep the communications but as you see we are in place the tug is gone and we are ready to taxi let's turn on our taxi lights there we oh, not to that we have to keep it at taxi and we'll turn the constraints on as a secondary measure I'm still getting used to this cockpit controls and that is probably it guys so ambitious pilots toolbar pushback is now supporting pre-planning the pushback and pushing you perfectly aligned with the taxiway so that you don't have to do the guesswork anymore I hope you guys liked the video I just wanted to record this quick tutorial and put it out there for you guys to see. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this will get better in time, but it's already becoming the most popular pushback add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you haven't downloaded it already, the link is in the description. Go check it out. And if you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed what you have seen. And if you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notified for my future videos. Thanks for being with me for this short tutorial and I will see you in the next one.